All right, guys, we have God on. Damn it. A year later, we finally get a talk. No, and we're going to talk again, Joe. We're going to have you on the freaking, uh, we're going to do one of those video calls, and we're going to go super viral and get your message out. But let me just introduce you guys. We have the one, the only, Joseph Maldonado. You might know him as the Tiger King, a.k.a. Joe Exotic. Joe, what's going on? Tell us the latest. Not much, man. I'm, I'm in Pensacola, Florida. It's really hard to hear you. You can't hear me? No! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh god! Yeah, I'll talk. I'll, I'll talk into the mic. Can you hear me? Can you, you hear go. me better now? There okay. All right. Well, so Joe, we see that you are obviously, you know, a very influential figure, and the fact that you're being in prison. How can I get your ass out of jail? I'm not just saying that kiddingly. I would love to get you out, Joe, because I see Carol Baskin doing all this bull crap, and you should have been the star of the show. How can we help you on the outside, Joe? You know what I what I need? I don't I don't need any money from anybody. Uh, and all I need is your voice. Okay, it's election time. Numbers scare the hell out of politicians. And right now, every time you see a post that Trump Trump or Biden put out there, put free Joe Exotic in the comments. Okay, we need and, to spam. And, we got to spam Joe Exotic. Joe, well, then let me ask you some presidential questions real quick. Uh, what are you going to do about this border crisis? I know you're in. Hey, how do we stop lot, it? You're going to have to get back to the microphone. Oh, you, well, how, how do we get rid of the border? How do we fix the border crisis? You know, there's two things you can do, okay? On, on my campaign website, my solution is, is look, if, if we're going to let them in here, let them in here under the conditions that they're going to get a Social Security card, kind of like a Social Security card, but it's a non-citizen tax number. All right. And you're going to you're going to pay us fifty dollars every month while you're trying to become a citizen, and you're going to work and you're going to pay taxes just like everybody else. But we're going to ship your ass back right away. We're not going to put you in detention center. We're not going to put you in prison. We're going to fly your ass and airdrop you right back where you came from. <laughs> All right, I and, love that. Now, Joe. And, it, Either that, or we're going to line up the entire military that we got on the border, and we're going to cap your ass the minute you cross that water. Clip that. Now, that will go viral. I think a lot of people will agree with you on that stance, uh, surprisingly. But tell me this, Joe. Now i got a tough question. How do you fix the conflict in the Gaza Strip, Israel versus Palestine? The God, I don't think we should even be over there, okay? These people have fought them for 2,000-plus years. They're never going to get along. I don't care how much money you throw at it, uh, you know, and it's not our culture problem. It, it's just not. We got enough shit in our own country to deal with. It's very true. I, I don't think we should even be involved. If, if, if they want to kill each other, you know what? I'm sorry, but, but it's the survival of the fittest. It's the same thing in Africa. You know, a lion's going to kill a kill a gazelle. Uh, and and uh, an Egyptian's going to kill a, a Jew, or you know, it's nothing personal. It's just I'm tired of of seeing people in America do without because we have to fund the entire world's problems. No, you're right, Joe. So tell us right now, how is it uh, behind bars? Have you been able to f find? I know you've had a lot of romantic partners. Are you able to find any, you know, somebody a partner in there uh, by chance, Joe? You know, I've I've I've, I've Coupled up with a couple people in the past, but you know it, it's just it's just for companionship. Uh, I haven't had sex in six years. What, I, Joe? I, Shut up! No, time yeah. out. You haven't had sex. You were a sex master. No. You're the king of all sex. No. You, you, Dude, had to, no. you had to you had to be dying. Hey, after prostate cancer, that's the last thing on your uh, mind. Well, I'm sorry to hear but, that. Yeah, but, but you know I'm. Me and Seth have worked things out. He's been there for three years. That's my goal is to get out of here, go to Fort Smith, Arkansas, have a family, do a concert tour, and and I want to testify in front of Congress about prison and justice reform because now I have the proof, okay? I, I might have been put here for one reason, and that was to document what really goes on inside the federal system. And, you know, it's no secret. I spent time in the shoe, and I got lost my good time days and everything else because I had a cell phone for two years. But let me tell you, the evidence that I have, I could ruin Joe Biden's election right now. Well, we need to get you, that evidence out to the public because, you know, Joe Biden is a yeah, terrible you wanna, president. You want to get me put in the hole forever. No, I don't, uh, Joe. I want to <laughs> keep you out of the hole. I want I want people, I mean, like like you said, financially, probably everybody likes you because, Joe, this is one thing that, I, that makes me feel so, so bad is that 
people love you, Joe. People love you. Even though it's been years since, you know, you were the viral sensation of the year. You had the documentary or docuseries of the year. People still love you because even though as crazy as you are, you're real, Joe. You're, you know, you're unapologetically hey, yourself. I, I'm, I'm going to call it like it is, you know. And, and, and I don't understand this Jeff Lowe and James Garrison shit. I've been in prison six years, and they took my zoo, destroyed my house, put me in prison, and stole my life. And every fucking day, it's something on the Internet. James and Jeff are posting about Joe Exotic. God damn, man. Go away. They need get you. A fucking, get a life, man. No, you're right. Take, what... your, take your sleazy-ass wife and go do what you do, okay? I don't care about you. And what did they do with a monkey in Las Vegas? They would drive to people's hotel rooms. Did you did you ever find out about that? Did you ever see that Jeff would have a monkey or something and take it into hotel rooms? Did you ever hear about well, that? Well, he had a lemur. He had a lemur and baby tigers. Okay, and 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 I have the the proof. I have his cell phones where he used to take baby tigers and and shove them in suitcases and sneak them into hotel rooms to charge people to play baby tigers. And he killed a few doing that. Uh, he's the one. If you pull up a uh, Jake Paul, it's either Jake Paul or what? The, 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 the Jake boxer. Paul yeah, the Paul brothers. Yeah. Okay. All right. If you pull up their YouTube video where they had a baby tiger, you know, in, in Beverly Hills, they got caught with it. Jeff Lowe sold that tiger to them in a hotel room in Las Vegas because I have the photographs. Wow. Now, that is actually, uh, th th that's probably going to get some clicks on the internet knowing that they bought and they, that And tiger. they let that black guy that worked for them take the fall for that. Yeah, well, Shohei Otani, one of the biggest baseball players, you know, he blamed his gambling all on his interpreter. I mean, you know, so that's what they call a bag man, so I'm really not surprised. So tell me this, Joe. You know, I love animals. I know you loved animals. You took care of those animals. Why are they mad? Are, are, and and is it the, was it the euthanization? Is that really what got you in trouble, Joe? What what even got you in trouble, in your opinion? What? What is who is mad? What are, what are you talking about? Well, I'm saying I'm saying isn't that what got you in trouble? Is they said you euthanized the tiger incorrectly. I know they have the murder for hire, but that's all a bunch of BS. Okay, look, look, and and I I've told three other reporters this today. I have never in my life been accused or charged by any law enforcement agency of animal abuse or animal cruelty. Yeah. I am not in here for that. No, I know you love animals. I you had a pet shop. You loved animals more than humans. I am in here for taking five endangered species without a permit because, okay, now look, for 23 years, we euthanized tigers and lions and, and exotic animals. Mm -hmm. That's just how it goes. Everything has to die, yep. okay? At some point, we're all going to die, all right? If your mother was suffering to the point that she was in agony, I'd put her down too, all right? I, that's just who I am, all right? For, for 23 years, I did this. My USDA inspector, my, my federal inspector, approved my protocols to euthanize by injection or by gunshot, yeah. whichever is instantaneously. My veterinarian protocols with my vet, exact same thing, okay? My inspector told me every time she came to inspect me, Joe, why are you making all of these old crippled animals stay alive mm. uh, when you have 260 more tigers. And you know what my answer is? And, and today I'll tell you the exact truth. Because if I put a crippled tiger in the very first cage, when you walk in the door to my zoo, you're going to donate me more money because <laughs> I'm going to make you feel sorry for that tiger. <laughs> well, you're honest about that, yeah. And, and do, the hey, do they get... Do hey, they and that's why, that's why Carol operates on animals on YouTube. Yeah, she's, she's crushing it on YouTube. I and mean, she's hanging out with Dan okay. Crenshaw. So, uh, so I put five tigers to sleep the fastest way possible, and that is by a gunshot, okay? Because euthanization takes over 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah. You have to tranquilize them. They have seizures. They have convulsions. They puke, and then a vet walks in and kills them. Gunshot, it was over in a half a second. No, it's buried like old them. yeller. I buried them side by side with respect. I didn't cut their teeth out. I didn't do anything. I buried them so I knew where the bodies were in case anybody ever wanted to claim that I was selling the body parts to, to the black market, like Carol always claimed. So they dug them up, they cut their heads off, 
and they paraded him around with a gunshot wound in the head, and that's what convicted me. Wow. But they're saying that I should have had a permit. Okay? Now, a permit would have took six to eight months to get a permit from the from, from the Federal Fish and Wildlife. And for that six to eight months, PETA would have been up my ass uh, uh, trying to get me charged with animal cruelty for keeping these sick, crippled animals alive that couldn't walk around. Well, so there was really no winning. Yeah, I'm on your side, Joe. I understand you got a sick animal, especially a thousand pound cat. I mean, I would think that. Uh, I mean, as as it might sound hey, bad, but a bullet to the brain seems like the most humane I'm, thing to I'm do. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of what I did. I'd do it again tomorrow. And you took care of a lot of those animals. And then the, my favorite thing, though, is the Walmart meat, Joe. The fact that you got all that free Walmart meat, that just shows you, you really are a good businessman. You used to be a chief of police and was at Eastvale, Texas. I didn't even realize Eastvale, that, Joe. Eastvale, Texas, yeah, at the age of 19. How'd you do that? Okay, now, now hey, let me, I worked my ass off. You know, I, if you look at the pictures online, I look 12 years old, all right? <laughs> they would not even hire me to be a, a police officer, and I made a deal with the city council. I said, look, I'll work for you for six months for free if you just let me prove I can handle myself. And before I, the six months was up, I was chief. Well, Joe, because you're a leader. You're a natural-born leader. So Okay, hey, let me explain the Walmart thing with you real quick. Okay, I, I went to Bentonville, and, and I made a deal with Walmart because... They paid $600,000 a month to landfill all of that, okay? And I went to Walmart, and I said, let me do something for you. I'll put four barrels in each of your stores in Oklahoma, and I'll pick them up twice a week, and you can use it as tax write-off because I'm nonprofit, okay? And it worked out so well, and they saved so much money that they do that to every sanctuary and zoo and dog breeder in America now. They call it feeding the animals across America, and I'm the one who did that. See, Joe, think about that. That's the brilliance of Joe Exotic because, you know, you, you basically created a chain uh, where everybody else, now all these other animal breeders and, you know, uh, whatever exotic farms can have all this, you know, free food. So, Joe, in my mind, I'm not saying this facetiously. I think you're an American hero, and I'm a cat lover. I'm an animal lover. I, I believe, you know, zoos. But what do you think about SeaWorld? I, I think it should exist, but do you see all that um, negative attention that, like, zoos like SeaWorld get, Joe? You know, you know, Look, uh, we have to have animals in captivity mm -hmm. to educate people about animals in the wild because you're never going to – you are probably never going to go to Siberia nope. and, and see a, a tiger in the wild to even care about them, right? So if you have a tiger in captivity that I can sit in your lap, a baby tiger, you're going to help me a little bit more save the environment and, and the habitat for, this, for the tiger in Siberia. Same way with wells. And, and, and orcas and everything else, okay? But they need to be taken care of, all right? They, they don't need to be locked in a solitary confinement like we do human beings. No, they, you're, they, you're they right. Be, they need to be taken care of, all right? Now, one, one animal in the world that was exploited beyond exploitation, and I went there and witnessed it myself, was Winter the dolphin that was born with no tail. Down there in Tampa, Florida. Yeah, that was a famous, they, yeah, fa I, that was in the they documentary. They exploited that dolphin so bad, and when I went and visited it, it was huddled up in a little tiny pool indoors in a corner, and I just, I wanted, I, I would have euthanized it. Wow. It was so sad. But 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 it's okay, because they're, they're who they are, you know? It, it, it all boils down to who the hell you are. Carol Baskin Zoo was the biggest rat hole piece of shit, uh, sanctuary that I've ever seen and but but she was she she was powerful she had money mm -hmm. now Carol Baskin's fully connected and she you can just see that she seems evil there's something Hillary Clinton-esque about her oh hey she got away with murder we all know it yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to argue with you. I, Carol Baskin coming after me. Next thing you know, I'm going to be sitting with you in federal prison. But, yeah, I mean, I think the evidence <laughs> points that looks really funny, uh, you know, if you put all the clues together. So, Joe, well, before we let you go, though, tell us tell us something positive. You sound like you're upbeat, but, but I, you know, how can you motivate the people you know, that are, are going to listen to this? For, I'm looking forward to this protest on the 23rd at the federal courthouse in Pensacola, Florida. I'm looking forward to this, this civil hearing because it's going to be the first step of, of getting a judgment against somebody who exploited me during Tiger King and, and, and stole 
something that I did, which is with my music. Uh, I, I, this is the first time in two years I've been able to use a phone. I mean, you've been trying yourself to get an interview for over a year. Yeah, Joe, uh, I've been trying to talk I, to you for a long time. I have never been able to video chat anybody, and I've video chatted people from Iceland and Australia and the United Kingdom since I've been at this jail in Florida, and I've never ate a hamburger, a real hamburger or a pizza from the outside world uh, in six years until I did last Friday because people here uh, at this jail, people on the outside can get online and order this, this fresh fresh something that they call. It's on the jail website, the Santa Rosa County Jail website. And they can order me a hamburger or a pizza on, fri- on Thursdays and it comes on Fridays. First fucking hamburger I've eaten in six years. And how uh, good was it? Because that's what they say all inmates are craving McDonald's. So you wanted that hamburger that bad, Joe. Oh my God! It was like uh, it was like having sex. Yeah, it really was. It was that good. And you've had you've had good. a lot of sex, so you know. Uh, I, 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 Joe, I, I, it was that good. Joe, tell me this though. You know, when they had that fire in your you, your your studio with all your music and stuff, how much great content got ruined that we're never going to get to see, Joe? Oh, my whole my whole life from their past, the the days at the pet store, the days of being a cop, everything that we had on VHS tape. Everything, either either Rick Kirkham stole it when he left, or it burned because they he look he poured so much gas in there it burnt the concrete and and it killed all the alligators. But there was nothing left. It it disintegrated everything. So we don't know what was stolen and what burned. But yeah, I lost I lost everything from my life from 2013 back. <laughs> What a shame, Joe! A, a, a alligator versus a tiger. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you can domesticate a tiger. Can you domesticate an alligator? Hey, we had, we had an alligator that walked on a leash. Yeah, but you're not gonna, you're not gonna just love on it and pet it like you do. Uh, <laughs> no. Tiger. no. I had, I had tigers in my house, and I had lions living with my winter dogs in my living room. So you know, but an alligator, uh, you're not gonna do that with an alligator. Wow. Oh, and now tell me this, Joe. What about inside the joint? Can you drink? Can there drugs? Because I know that happens in prison. Is there, can you have any fun inside there? Okay. Look, I I have not had a cigarette or any drugs or or alcohol in the six years I've been in here because that's not who I want to become. But let me tell you something. The the they they make alcohol in here that smells like turpentine and people are drunk all day long. Uh, the cops, the guards, are the ones who sell the drugs and meth goes for $7,000 an ounce in here, and cell phones that they buy at Walmart for 100 bucks, the guards sell them for $3,000. That's what a cell phone goes for, $3,000. You're telling me, and then an ounce of methamphetamine, and people have the $7,000 to buy it because they can deal it in there? I mean, it's, it must be some... Oh, yeah, co- the, they'll deal it and turn it into $9,000, yeah, by cutting it up. Oh, it's a business. This is this is a business. There's there's nothing right about this, Alex. Uh, it's it's a business. Well, Joe, and and the guards the guards come to work, and and I'm talking about federal guards. Okay, the guards come to work with backpacks, and they leave weighing 140 pounds. I have it all documented on video. <sighs> wow, Joe, we need to expose all this. So, if you had to do the full time, you're going to get out in 2035. How can we get you out? Do you have any possibility of parole? Can you get out earlier? What What is the if you had to do you the full time? One. Minute. We got one minute, Joe. There is no federal parole, uh, mm-hmm. so I've got I've got to win this appeal, or I've got to get Joe Biden off his ass. That's that's the only the only way. I got two ways. Because I've got lung cancer now, so I'm not going to make it till 35. Well, I'm friends with Laura Trump and the Trump family, and I'm going to put in a good word with, you know, whatever you know, I can. You know, if, if President Trump right now would get in public and say not only the January Sixers, because they're all in here counting on him, but if he would say he would pardon me his first day, every one of my fans would vote for him. Oh, in two seconds. How many, but real quick, how many January Sixers are you with? A bunch? Oh shit! I'm in pr- I'm in prison in Fort Worth with eleven of them. Wow! They they got totally screwed. Okay, Joe, we're about to let you go. What do you want to tell the people before you leave? Hey, any posts you see out there, put free Joe Exotic. I love you. I don't need your money. I need your voice. And let's change America. Okay? Yes, sir. I love you, Joe. We're going to be talking to you on a video chat soon. I'm going to be in contact with Thank your whole crew. Thank you for crew. using Global Telling. 
And guys, that was the one, the only Joe Exotic. It was an interesting conversation, but guys, we have something in the works. Soon we're going to have Joe on cam for a on-video interview. You want to be, uh, definitely want to be uh, subscribed to see that one. I'm so fly, I'm aligned with the planes. My grind's so refined, I got no time for no games. Ask yourself 